Hey folks, it's uh, doing an early one today. I got my coffee. It's um, so I had a uh, great conversation with my brother Dustin yesterday, and uh, what one thing that came out it didn't really come out of the conversation, but it's something it came up and we we talked about it a little bit, and it, it was something that had actually occurred to me a few days earlier as I was thinking about some of this stuff that's, that is happening right now in, in my life, you know, in terms of this pattern, pattern recognition and sitting with it and trying to remain pretty present with them. And then also beginning to have conversations with uh, my family. You know, I've talked to now a number of family members kind of about what I'm going through and where I, where I feel like other people are too. You know, I mean, you never, you never quite know, but until you ask, but there definitely seems to be several other people in my family kind of going through a similar process of like looking at what am I really about? You know, this, this downtime of COVID and uh, this weird holiday season and all that seems to have just prompted a lot of that kind of self-reflection on a number of people's parts. So anyway, you know, we're talking about family and just looking at, you know, like a lot of times, like I was saying in one of my previous posts, it's like, I'm going through my version of whatever this is right and and it and it usually involves looking at people like my parents authority figures from a younger age from when I was a younger age and and then referencing and you know figuring out well how, how you know I see the world this way or I am patterned to work in this way because of the way that my parents were you know a lot of times it has to do with siblings and stuff too but but parents definitely loom large in that picture and one thing that has kind of occurred to me or become clear from doing this is that even though you know like my my parents are still alive they're wonderful people they're highly evolved people they've been working on themselves for years they're those sort of people where no matter whatever I have, would ask them for at this point, any kind of affirmation, validation, support, whatever I could possibly want, they would absolutely give. Now, I know that's not the case for everybody. You know, some people don't have more strained relations within their family, and that's that's its own whole thing. Then that has to kind of be you know you have to approach it the way you approach it. Um, but in either case. The important thing that I've clocked is my parents' support and affirmation and help now doesn't change my my younger selves' imprinting, and they are completely powerless to do anything about that. It doesn't matter how much support or affirmation or love they give me now. I am the only one who can go in and see where how I see the world as a result of my imprinting and forgive myself or 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 see myself or love myself whatever my own inner child needs to experience I'm the only one who can do it my parents can't actually do it so in that sense it's kind of good news cuz it means like even whether you have a great relationship with your parents now or not you can still do this work equally well ultimately at the, at, there comes a point when I think age-wise and in terms of the process of reckoning with this and seeing it and working through it, doesn't matter if your parents are alive, doesn't matter if you talk to them every day or if you haven't talked to them in years, you know, it's it's really much, it's, it's really entirely based upon bringing ourselves into a present and conscious state, feeling where we are and letting that, letting, you know, allowing that feeling to be there and then doing whatever work we need to do, t giving ourselves whatever we need. Um, and I just feel like that's a very empowering way to think about it. And and it's and it 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 should it should hopefully free up anyone who's tr who's doing this work to kind of like take you know it's like you get to take responsibility and you get to take control. You're, it doesn't really matter what the people in you, and this goes for parents or anybody else who's kind of imprinted you in this way, whether it was like a bully at school when you were a kid or whatever, like it, none of, it doesn't really matter so much. Those people, what they would, you know, their relationship now is probably completely 
changed so to you. So anyway, that's just been my feeling, and I've I've been uh, wanting to say it in a, explicitly because it feels like an important aspect of looking at how all this works and what you know what our own agency and autonomy and real empowerment is once we start really getting serious about this so that's what i got today folks i love you all thank everyone for watching as always it's so great it's so great to have people receiving these liking them all that it's it really means the world love you all hope to see you again soon